So, yeah, I got pissed and kicked him right there. There? Where is there? You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, my! So what happened after that? Well, of course. Hmm? What is that? A photo? Someone must have dropped it. laughing about. I can hear you from across the castle. But, but, but Prince, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just a picture. What's so... <gasps> I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. I'm a bit shocked. What, what, what is this? It's a humiliating photo of you. I can see that, but who the hell took it? How should I know? By the way, something's written on the back. What? Dear Prince Laharl, an embarrassing photo of you is in my possession. I await your arrival in Jotunheim. If you choose to decline my challenge, copies of the photo will be scattered throughout the netherworld. It is my wish to contend for overlordship in a fair, agreeable manner. Damn it! Fair, agreeable manner? This is playing dirty. But isn't that the demon way? True, but this crosses the line. So, are you going or not? It's definitely a trap. Of course I'm going. If this picture is spread throughout the netherworld, I'll be ruined. Whoever you are, you just wait. I'll char you and your paparazzi shots in the eternal flames of hell. Episode 5, Etna's Secret. Looking forward to seeing what terrifying trap awaited me, but instead I find these puny little demons. What? You got something to say? A wonderful life. <gasps> World peace! <gasps> Let's all be friends. Stop that! Girls take initiative! <laughs> Maharo? What's wrong? him? He hates it when people are optimistic. Hmm. Is that so? Let's see. Eternal love. Ah! The most dreaded word in existence! You, you, you trying to kill me? But that's my favorite word. Damn it! How did they know my weakness? <laughs> what a cute little boy! Ah! Laharo! Why are you screaming? Uh, I don't know why, but for some apparent reason I can't stand women with sexy bodies! On a side note, flat-chested girls like you have absolutely no effect on me. Well, excuse us for being flat! <laughs> the 
Y you're... It has been a while, Prince. Do you still remember me? How could I forget you? You're Medeiros, the vassal who was banished from the castle for stealing my old man's favorite snack, black pretzels. <sighs> now that's what I call pathetic. So, black pretzel snatcher slash outcast, what is it that you want from me now? I wish to become overlord, of course. <laughs> what a joke! What could you, a pathetic loser banished for stealing pretzels, possibly do to me? Stop talking so tough, Prince. I know all of your weaknesses. Isn't that right, Edna? Edna! You? <laughs> you just realized it. Fool! Yes, Edna is my loyal dog. As long as I hold her memory in my hands, she'll do whatever I ask. Etna? Now, dear Prince, this place shall become your grave. Etna, you've served your purpose. I am quite pleased with the results. Now die alongside your Prince. We had a deal! What about my memory? What use are memories to you when you are about to die? <laughs> it all makes sense now. No wonder he knew my weaknesses. You took those photos too, didn't you? Laharu! It was only because that demon stole her memory. Silence! I accept no excuses from a traitor! Stop blabbering and get these sexy women out of my sight! Hmm... You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? But your luck ends here. Hi there, little boy. Whoa! That's not all. Take this! A ray of hope. Ah! A pure heart. Stop it! <laughs> Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? Ah! Laharl, hang in there! Whoa! Hold it right there! When a lovely flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. They call me the Dark Adonis. Who are you? What is your name? As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere, and you shall regret it. My! You are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous to moi? You seem to be working your way into quite a predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. Warn me? Laharl, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. My mind's eye? Now is the time to set your mind free. Awaken to your power! Um, Mr. Midboss? That was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Oh, in that case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. <laughs> now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Medeiros. Hmm. Hey, Edna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl! If you refuse, I'll erase your memory for good. Go ahead, why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince. 
so that you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still managed to hear that one line? That's right. It was because of the poison. But I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So, I devised a plan to escape from under his thumb. Vivin, why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? Let me explain it then. I was waiting for just the right moment to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll lead my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. How dare you turn against me, you double-crossing backstabber! Ah, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. Damn it! Brinnies, make mincemeat out of her! Dude... P Brinnies? You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the Prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the prince was my bait. Huh. Using me as bait? You're one ruthless girl. Oh, Prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Juan or Midboss were part of the plan. Hmm, women are scary. <laughs> From this day on, you're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? For forgive me. Please, spare my life, I beg you! What should I do? Forgive me, oh, Master Etna! Your strength, <gasps> beauty and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the netherworld! Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll forgive you. You know what I want, right? Y yes I will return Master Harold's candid photos immediately, as well as your memory. I'll return everything. Oh, well that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. You tried to poison me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vessel are you? But, but I don't mind that side of you. A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Prince! Listen up! I'm gonna work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne... An accident may happen. Huh. You can take my place if that happens. <laughs> Don't worry. I will. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconciled, despite all that's happened. I don't understand it, but I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I have never experienced anything like this before in Celestia. Hey, wait! Everyone! Are you not forgetting someone? Hi, everybody! I'm Etna! I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary! You look and act like a first grader, that's for sure. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute Friend. That's dumb. Lovely sexy! Hey, no touching! Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves! Who'd want to touch you? Next on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6! Curse you, Vlog! Get ready to be spellbound! Aren't you embarrassed to say 
say something like that? Not at all! 